It really feels like the light at the end of the tunnel is getting a little bit closer, doesn't it? Very, we're on top of it now, aren't we? We're there. We're there, we're there, we're there, we're there, we're there, we're there, we're there. <laughs> and the Belfast public comes yeah. out for you again. You always bring a crowd, you know don't they, you? Um, they come to see the champ. The champ! You know, it's, um, it's good, you know, there's a lot of fans here and I appreciate them coming out to see us and it was a um, good little uh, press conference and I hope uh, they enjoyed it as much as I did. And I can't really wait for the public workout, the weigh-in, everything's going to be, it's going to be an amazing, it's going to be an amazing run-up to the fight, it's going to be an amazing fight night, venue, everything. This is just, this is it, you're looking at the face of BT Sport right here. This is the face of BT Sport. Oh, your view is out and it's been a quite a training camp than normal, so it seems like you're also really pleased to be out somewhere, getting the photos, getting in with the media as well. This is the first time I've actually been allowed to be myself, because, you know, Ben's like grow a beard and shave the head bald and be serious, but we all know that's not my personality, so uh, this is the first time I've had fun, really, since, um, since training has stopped. And I noticed you and Ben talking to each other just after you mentioned how many southpaws you knocked out. You didn't make a little bet there, did you? Yeah, we did. We had a little bet. He said Thomas Maserak was a southpaw, and I said he wasn't. But I don't remember, it was a long time ago. Maybe he's right, he's got a tenor on it anyway. Either way, end up on the map. Yeah, for sure. And you didn't bet him uh, this is another Southpaw going to sleep on Saturday then? <laughs> you come with a lot of stats, actually. You were telling me the other day you're 100 to 1 on, then you come with the 2% of lineal champions. Is this a, a new sort of scientific approach to the Tyson Fury? 100%, you can't have enough knowledge on the game you're in. I think knowledge is the key to success. And you always talk about how much you study heavyweights. What, what is it that you fear? Well, you feel is the biggest fear about fighting Pionetta on Saturday? I don't have no fear I'm in a fight. I'm like a lion. I'm like a lion from Zion. I'm just, I don't have any fear in boxing. It's just it's one of those things I go in there, do me fight, and that's it. If I win, I win, and if I don't, I get beat. Simple as. There's no shame in, in, in winning or losing. It's just how one feels after the fight, you know? And now ready for you for, what is it, four days now of constant... Deontay Wilder questions again and again and again. You're going to I'm get just it again. Gonna dismiss them. Just dismiss them. Dismiss them like I just did there. Mm. Sick of, I don't want to hear about Deontay Wilder. It's about me and Francesco Pianetta. That's it. Nobody in, nobody out. Hey! <laughs> that's, that's the rules for the door on the stage, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the rules for everything. Nobody in, nobody out. That's it. Seal tight. And I think, obviously, Frank's just standing behind me here. I think you've made him a very happy man in the last couple of months and in the so. upcoming months. I think so. He's got I brought him back from being too far gone. <laughs> I'm a sweet. <laughs>